Candace Stoller, Director of Admissions at Elms College. Congratulations on your acceptance and welcome to our virtual Accepted Students Day. While I would love to show you in person just what makes Elms so special, since we're unable to, we've put together this video so you can see it for yourself. Enjoy! Hi, my name is Reba. I'm a senior admission counselor and I look forward to seeing you all soon. Hi, I'm Paulina Lishness, Associate Director of Undergraduate Admissions at Elms College. We're super sad we can't celebrate Accepted Students Day with you on campus, but we're looking forward to seeing you really soon. Hi everyone, my name is Keyshawn King. I'm a second year admissions counselor here at Elms. I'm so sorry we weren't able to host all of you on campus for this year's Accepted Students Day, but I'm so excited to hear about your interest in Elms. I hope to see all of you on campus in the fall and I hope everybody is staying safe. Hi there, congratulations. My name is Daniela. I am an admission counselor. I wanted to welcome you to the Blazer family. Hi, I'm Susanna. I'm your transfer admission counselor. Welcome to Elms. Hi there, I'm Anne and I'm a senior admission counselor. I can't wait to see you on campus. Stay safe and be well. Okay, so you've just heard from my team. Clearly, we're really excited to welcome you to the Elms campus this fall. Next, I'd like to introduce John Scully, Vice President for Enrollment Management and Marketing. Hi guys, my name is John Scully. I'm the Vice President of Enrollment Management and Marketing at Elms College. Uh, first, let me congratulate each and every one of you on your acceptance. That is a tremendous accomplishment. You should be really proud of yourself. Um, I wish I could be celebrating that acceptance with you at our Accepted Students Day on campus, uh, but unfortunately we have to cancel that event due to everything going on in the world. It's one of my favorite events of the year and I'm really going to miss having it. With that being said, there's still a great way for you to experience everything that makes Elms College a really special place. And that's the stories of, from our faculty, from our staff, from our students, and really hearing from them directly why they chose Elms and why they love being a part of the campus community. Um, I encourage you to check out our virtual tour where you hear from more of them about what makes Elms so special. Thanks so much and stay safe out there. Next, it's my pleasure to introduce the Elms College President, Dr. Harry Dumay. I'm Dr. Harry Dumay, President of Elms College. On behalf of the students, faculty, staff, and trustees of the college, let me welcome you to this virtual Accepted Students Day video. I hope that you and your family members are well and staying safe. First and foremost, congratulations on your admission to Elms College. You've been admitted because in reviewing your application materials, our admissions office determined that you possess the characteristics that we seek in Elms College student, a commitment to achievement and excellence, a determination to lead a life of meaning and purpose, an openness to embrace everyone, especially those who may be different, and a desire to be part of something larger than yourself. Now, normally, I would be welcoming you to a physical open house on our beautiful campus. And I would spend quite a bit of time telling you about what makes Elms College distinctive and the opportunities that await you at our institution. But as you know, these are not normal times. Your transition from high school to college is taking place in an unprecedented environment. Your life has changed, at least for a little while. And so let me be brief and focus on three key messages. First, in the midst of all the, the uncertainty that surrounds you, one thing of which you can be sure it is that the faculty and staff of Elms College are committed to helping you achieve your individual success. That has not changed because we've moved to a virtual environment and it will remain the same when we move back to physical classrooms. Second, quality matters. The quality of education that you will receive at Elms College is one that focuses on helping you to grow 
not just intellectually, of course that will happen, but also to grow as a whole person. This is our commitment to you. This is our mission and our tradition as an institution founded by the Sisters of St. Joseph. Third, we know that times may be difficult for you and your family. Now more than ever, we remain steadfast in our goal to help you achieve your dreams. Do not hesitate to contact your admission counselor or our financial aid office and let us know if you need help. We will use every resource at our disposal to help you. I hope that you will take full advantage of this virtual experience and that you will envision yourself as part of the Elms family. Imagine yourself, yes, in physical classrooms, researching a paper at the library or playing on the quad. We are all looking forward to welcoming you into the family, to helping you discover your purpose over the next four years, and to celebrating your success in the future. In the meantime, stay safe, stay well, and best wishes. Our campus community will be here for you from day one. Our dedicated staff and faculty will help you discover your purpose. But why take my word for it? Hear from them for yourself. Greetings. My name is Dr. Antoinette Bonnie Candia Bailey, and I serve as the Vice President for Student Affairs and Chief Diversity Officer. I oversee the Dean of Students Office, Campus Ministries, Athletics, and the Office of Diversity and Inclusion. I want to spend a few moments just telling you about each of the areas and the services that we provide. Our Residence Life Department is your home away from home. We offer programs and opportunities to connect with other students, and we have staff available 24 hours to assist. Student Activities provides experiences in leadership engagement, student organizations, we have fun activities. We want all students to get connected here at Elms. Counseling Services provides one-on-one -on -one experiences where you can discuss personal or academic concerns, or if you wanna overall just get guidance about a situation, our counseling staff is here to assess. Our health center, we are serious about your overall health and well-being. If you have a cold or even a chronic health concern, we encourage you to visit our health center. We offer health promotions activities and we want to contribute to the overall health and well-being of all of our students at Elms. Campus Ministries provides an opportunity to explore cultural awareness and spirituality. You will have access to the chapel and other reflection areas on campus. Athletics, we are an NCAA Division III college, offering a variety of sports and recreation. You have to visit the McGuire Center, offering aerobics, a weight room, a 25 meter handicap accessible six lane pool, we encourage you to attend and support our sporting events. Diversity and inclusion. Our mission is to educate a diverse group of students by creating inclusive and welcoming environments. We will offer a variety of programs and services to cultivate and foster holistic development. We want you to stay connected at Elms College and visit our social media sites through Student Affairs via Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, and YouTube. We are so excited about your interest and in selection of Elms College, and we look forward to welcoming you to the Blazer family. 
Have a great day and be well. Hello, my name is Walter Bro, Vice President of Academic Affairs, and on behalf of all the faculty and academic staff at Elms College, I want to welcome you to Virtual Accepted Students Day. We wish we were meeting you in, in person, but certainly we look forward to meeting you in the future, saying hello, shaking hands, bumping elbows, something for us to look forward to. Um, if you have not decided what college you will be attending in the fall, the question I want to answer for you now is why Elms College? First, our transformative academic programs tied to our very strong liberal arts core. Whether you're planning on being a nurse or a social worker or a speech and language pathologist or teacher or accountant, the reason you will be more effective in your career once you graduate is because of the strength of the liberal arts core tied to your, your, your major program. It's critical, creative, and innovative thinking. It's ethical leadership. It's very strong writing skills, very strong presentation skills. It will prepare you to be a better person once you graduate and it is one of the reasons why Elms graduates are different. We look at transformative educational opportunities both in and out of the classroom, internships, study abroad, practicum, clinicals, field placement. We work very hard to help you fit these into your schedule, and we actually have funding available to help students take advantage of these opportunities that are so important in preparing them for the future. Some of you may be interested in a minor to go along with your major. We have minors in entrepreneurship, minors in bioethics and medical humanities, among many others. It's something you can discuss with your advisor this coming fall. Some of you may do undergraduate research. We have had many, many students uh, be uh, authors on peer-reviewed journal articles before they graduate. Uh, we are very proud of our personalized student support from day one. With first year seminar all the way through graduation day, we work very hard with you through our Center for Student Success to be to help you be successful. Finally, the, fun, the last point about why Elms College outcomes, outcomes, outcomes. For the last several years, well over 90% of our graduates are either in a career or a graduate program. Our nursing program, their first time NCLEX pass rates have been 97% or higher over the last two years. Um, they are a top 10 nursing program in the state of Massachusetts. Um, our, bachelor, our social work majors have advanced placement in MSW programs. Our communication scientists and disorders majors have advanced placement in graduate programs. For the last several years, every one of our teachers graduating with an education licensure has had a job before they graduate. If you have questions for me, please contact your admissions counselor and say, can I get in contact with Dr. Bro? I'd be happy to answer your questions one-on-one. -on -one. Um, finally, once again, we wish we were meeting you in person for the Accepted Students Day, but we certainly look forward to meeting you and your family at a new student orientation this coming fall. All my best and be safe. Hello, I'm Rich O'Connor, Director of Financial Aid here at Elms College. We understand that finances are an overwhelming topic for many families, but here at Elms we strive to make a private education both affordable and achievable. No matter where you are in the financial aid process, our experienced staff will break down your next steps. We are happy to answer any questions you may have and guide you on the right path. The financial aid process starts with the FAFSA form, and many of you have already completed that FAFSA. If you haven't done so, I encourage you to go to studentaid.gov to complete the FAFSA, or you can download the FAFSA app in the Apple Store or Google Play Store. Once the FAFSA is completed, we will be able to get you out an offer letter. On that offer letter, it will explain everything that you are eligible for from financial aid. It will include your merit scholarships, any outside um, scholarships that you've made us aware of, any institutional scholarships. It'll include loans, work study, and I'll talk a little bit about work study in a couple seconds here. Once you've received that offer letter and you are ready to commit to becoming a part of the Elms College community, you can accept your financial aid right online through the Elms Connect app. And on that app, you'll be able to accept loans, um, grants, scholarships. You'll be able to make adjustments if you wish to lower something 
um, you'll also see some helpful links on the Elms Connect app. And those links can take you to websites um, to do your promissory note and entrance counseling for your student loans. They'll also give you some helpful links for outside scholarship resources. And it'll also let you know if there's any other documentation that the school will need from you. In terms of work study, so a lot of families ask questions about federal work study and using those funds. If you have been awarded federal work study on your award letter, you can certainly apply for the on-campus jobs when we have our job fair at the beginning of the fall semester. Those funds though do not directly come off your bill. So any student who has been awarded work study gets a job on campus, they are paid every two weeks, they're paid the state minimum wage, and they can use those funds for living expenses, they can decide if they wanna put some of that, that money towards their balance, but the funds go directly to the student unless they decide to apply it to their bill. Certainly in these challenging financial times, we realize that the FAFSA form is done as of a couple years financial information and things have dramatically changed for a lot of families in these last few months. I encourage you if though if you're in that category certainly reach out to the financial aid office. We may be able to get some documentation and make some adjustments to the income you're reporting on your FAFSA. We also may be able to kind of guide you on you know, other sources of financial aid that you might be uh, want to consider applying to. I also encourage you guys, feel free to set up meetings with us. Um, we are here 8.30 to 4.30 every day by phone. We're willing to set up a Zoom with you. Um, we are willing to, you know, discuss anything that you might want to discuss in terms of finances um, and answer any of your questions that you may have. I again encourage you, please reach out to us if you have any questions here. I did also wanna mention that with the financial aid offer you've been sent, you will see a lot of important documentation that we have sent. And I encourage you guys to read that. Um, some will explain the difference between the types of loans you've been offered, the different types of aid you've been offered, one will also give you a worksheet that will allow you to figure out what that estimated out-of-pocket balance is. The other one will give you payment options, whether that's setting up a payment plan through our student accounts office, whether that's looking at alternative loans or parent plus loans, um, outside scholarships, those sort of things here. Again, I encourage you guys, if you have questions, please reach out to the office my staff is here to help you in any way possible, and we're here to guide you on your next steps. Thanks. Hi, I'm Colin McQuaid, Director for Student Engagement and Leadership here at I want to talk to you a minute about getting engaged on campus. Being an engaged student leader here at Elms is one of the most important things you can do in your collegiate career. It's going to prepare you for life after college, and it's going to be where you make the most of your friends. Here at Elms, you can join several different kinds of clubs. You can join things like SGA, the Student Government Association, Student Activities Board, SAC, Residence Life Councils, and many more. You can join also the leadership programs, such as Leadership Institute, or you can start your own club. It's very easy to do. You need five friends, an advisor, and I'll help you write your constitution. We have many activities for both residents and commuters here, and I highly encourage you to get engaged. It's going to be great, and I can't wait to see you all here in the fall. Hi, my name is Hannah. I am a current marketing and management double major here at the Elms. I am a senior, so I'll be graduating this May 2020, and I am originally from Coventry, Rhode Island. So something really cool that the admissions department set up is that they wanted me to do kind of like a little question and answer um, for incoming and transfer students. So here we go. So the first question is, why did I choose Elms? 
I chose Elms uh, just because of from the second you walk on campus, you feel as though you're in a small community and you feel as though you're in home, at home, excuse me. Um, I went to a private school from kindergarten to eighth grade, and then I went to a public school from ninth to 12th grade. And I really wanted to get back into that small community feeling of having 15, sometimes five, sometimes 30 kids in your class. Um, and then with that as well is all of the connections that you form with your peers, with your professors, with the faculty, the staff, you know everyone's name on campus by the first month of school. Um, and then with that, that allows you to quickly find your passions and what you're excited for during the four years of college because it is a whirlwind of experiences. Um, with that as well, you're not just a number at the Elms, you are a name. So one of my favorite memories from the very beginning of my Elms experience is that I got a handwritten note from one of the open houses that I attended just thanking me for my time. And you're so cared about and you're so accepted here that it just feels like it clicks. What clubs and organizations have I been involved in is one of the questions. So over my past three years, I have been involved in a numerous amount of clubs and organizations. So my freshman year, I started off with Dorothy Day, which is a one week program for first year students to come on campus a week before school and you volunteer. So I volunteered at Noetius Raices, which is an organic farm in Holyoke. And we did all the planting, producing, manufacturing, um, of the plants and it just shows us uh, the agriculture side behind uh, where our, our food comes from. Another uh, activity that I was involved in is I actually swam on our D3 swim team for one year, which I had never been involved in a team before and I I had also never swam before. <laughs> um, and the coach uh, just welcomed you in and all your teammates. Um, and it really just gave like a different um, dynamic of what college is like. How do you time management correctly? Uh, another uh, club that I was involved in was sophomore leadership, uh, which is a semester long and you do a lot of team building um, exercises, which allows you to improve on your leadership skills, uh, which will help greatly in the future. And then with that is we did a giant um, charity collection uh, at the end of the year. So my team worked with Cathedral in the Night in Northampton and we had mass amounts of donations um, that were donated to our group and then we were able to give that to families who weren't necessarily um, as fortunate as we are. Um, and it went from toothpaste to hats and gloves because it was winter. Uh, we served them with enchiladas and drinks and it was just a really nice ceremony. Um, one of my favorite clubs that I was involved in on in school was I was the vice president of social affairs on the executive board for student government and through that uh, we helped run a lot of um, different kinds of clubs and uh, events on campus. So personally, I was in charge of spring week, fall week, gala, which is kind of like our homecoming or spring fling on campus. Uh, and that was probably one of my favorite uh, organizations that I've been involved in. And then just to give you kind of a different perspective in a different department, I was also the president of the philanthropy club my uh, second semester junior year into this year. And we do a lot of uh, work educating students on what is philanthropy. Um, where do your scholarships come from? Who works so hard in the offices uh, to make sure that you have these scholarships and grants as well as a lot of volunteer work. Um, so we did the caring closet a couple weeks ago and basically we just had a ton of people donate clothes and students were able to come and pick through those clothes and if they needed a winter jacket or um, a new blazer for an interview they were able to do so all free from cost. So. One of my favorite learning tools that Elms offers on campus is the ability to get a one semester or a full year internship course. Uh, so what you do is you sign up for the internship class and you 
can pick anything um, that you really want to kind of get a little more knowledge on. So for me, I'm uh, my strong suit is marketing. So I wanted to market a business. So I went down to Tower Square Hotel in Springfield, who is run through interstate hotels. And I was a marketing and sales intern. And what that allowed me to do was run all their social media uh, accounts. I went to press conferences. I helped out with weddings and really learned the um, logistics behind marketing. Uh, the team that I worked with was, was absolutely phenomenal. And then what was great was I was earning credits to graduate on time while also being able to be paid because I was working uh, 25 hours a week and then I was going to three other classes. So what our internship courses allow you to do is gain that real world experience to build your resume. So when you walk out into the job field, you have a little bit of um, experience within your field and employers love that. They love that you don't necessarily, you're not necessarily um, completely trained in your field. However, you have that experience to back you up. Um, and I think that's definitely helped me throughout my um, career transition. So one piece of advice I have for incoming students at the Elms is the next four years are going to fly by. And I know that that doesn't sound real. You're like, oh yeah, okay, Hannah. Um, but seriously, I remember walking in to my first tour on campus and I remember my last day on campus and um, the relationships that you form, the friendships you form, college, isn't just about the grades and the classes. It's about getting that real world experience to walk into your major confidently and know which career choice you wanna pick. It's okay not to know exactly what you wanna do for your, the rest of your life. So I walked into the Elms as a social work major. I stuck with that for a couple of weeks. I switched to an accounting major. I decided that wasn't for me and I switched over into marketing and management. Um, and through the help of our professors and uh, faculty and staff, I was able to find something that I was truly interested in. Now, make sure that your classes are, you take them so seriously. Um, make sure you're going to them. Don't try not to skip any. Sometimes it happens, but try not to. Um, but also make sure that you're forming relationships and you're able to network uh, and meet professionals within the community because um, Western Mass really is such a special place and we want you to gain as much experience out of it as possible. So that being said, I wish you nothing but the best of luck in your college tours, uh, your research on where you think will best fit you. I can promise you here at the Elms, you're going to find an institution that's nothing like anything else you've ever seen, you're gonna feel at home, you're gonna feel as though you belong, and you're going to get so much for your education that's going to help you in the future and help you become a better professional. If you have any questions, reach out to your admissions counselors, reach out to uh, anyone that you may know on campus. We'd be happy to answer any kind of questions and we really just wanna make uh, the Elms your next home and your next school, so. Go Blazers. <laughs> Bye. Good afternoon and welcome to our virtual Accepted Students Day. My name is Dr. Brian Capinos. I'm the Assistant Academic Dean for Student Support and I'm here to talk to you a little bit about our Center for Student Success. Our Center for Student Success houses the Advising Office, or Tutoring Office, Career Services Office, Student Accommodations and Support Service Office, international programs are Fulbright and also has our welcome desk. We have loaner laptops, a printer for you, and tons of space uh, with windows everywhere for you to study and be able to work with peers in group sessions. All of the offices in the Center for Student Success are here to support you during your time at Elms College. You'll be able to meet our director of tutoring and meet any one of our 20 to 25 peer tutors that are tutoring all throughout the week in various subjects be able to speak with me, Director of Advising also, and I'll be able to talk to you a little bit about majors, um, a little bit of major exploration, and I'll also talk to you about your goals for being here at Elms College. 
you'll be able to talk to our director of student accommodations and support services and ask about the accommodation process. You'll be able to take a look at our testing area and from start to finish, you'll have somebody that will be able to assist you throughout that process. You'll also be able to speak with our director of career services, look at your resume from start to finish, or maybe take advantage of one of our experiential learning um, opportunities where you'll be able to get some additional funding to take a, to an external internship, uh, potentially even abroad. So we have a ton of supportive services that are available to you in the Center for Student Success. And additionally, you'll be able to meet Tina, the administrative assistant who works at the Welcome Desk. Tina is there to guide you and assist you in anything you need to help you with your printing, uh, to access any loan or laptops that you may need, um, and just any questions that you could have. We also have some free coffee as well over in our kitchenette area for you, just in case you need a coffee during this tough time when you're studying. So again, our Center for Student Success and myself and all of the staff are here to help you and support you. We look forward to having you here at Elms in the fall of 2020, and hopefully it's not virtual like we're doing right now. Hi there, my name is Tori Lewine and I'm the Director of Residence Life. I'm currently standing in Rose William Hall, our first year residence hall. If you decide to live on campus here at Elms, this is where you would be living your first year. And we're so excited to have you here. I am currently standing in a double room, which is what most of the rooms are like in Rose William Hall. Every single resident in every room gets their own bed, dresser, closet, desk, and desk chair. And there's plenty of space for you to decorate and add your own touch to the room and make it feel like home. So if you want Elms College to be your new home, we want you to live on campus too. We recommend filling out the housing application as soon as possible. In the housing application, you can request a specific roommate if you already know someone coming to Elms that you want to live with, or you can fill out our matching questions and we will match you with a great roommate. So if you have questions about living on campus, we are here to help. You can email us at reslife at elms.edu. We'd be happy to chat through email, on the phone, or through Zoom. Hello and welcome to the Elms College. I am Pablo Madaria, Director of Public Safety here at the Elms. I would like to quickly share some information about Elms Public Safety with you. We provide a 24-7 community safety and security service utilizing walking and cruiser patrols that is supported by video monitoring of campus facility and grounds. Your officers are equipped with portable radios and carry department cell phones that connect directly to the campus phone system, allowing for direct communication with callers and expediting their response and or summoning emergency services. Students flourish here at the Elms College for many reasons, not the least of which is the safe, welcoming environment the campus affords, an environment that is enhanced by key scan access to residence halls, individually keyed dorm rooms, and modern fire prevention systems. Also, as you travel around campus, you will see strategically placed emergency call boxes and exterior lighting that supports students in being vigilant about their personal safety. Rounding off our safety and security plan is the Elms Alert, a campus-based connected system which gives campus leaders and public safety officials the ability to reach all students, faculty and staff within minutes with information and updates during unforeseen events or emergencies through phone calls, emails, text messages, as well as, as, well as messages to TTY, TTD receiving devices for the hearing impaired. Please visit our public safety website for additional guidance and planning ahead. I look forward to seeing all of you here on campus in the near future. Please stop by and say hello. Be safe and stay healthy. Hi, my name is Ron Flozier and my daughter Taylor is attending Elms as a freshman. Uh, she is in the nursing program and she is also an athlete playing soccer at the school. Taylor being in a very small Catholic high school uh, that she graduated from, a small college was, you know, a natural transition. Uh, the fact that Elms is like one of the number one nursing schools with, I believe, like a 98% passing rate on the, uh, the exams when you get done with your college is phenomenal. We uh, had several meetings with uh, the director of financial aid uh, and his staff um, were very, very, very helpful in getting as much as we could um, in terms of financial aid uh, to make this all possible for, you know, Taylor to go to college. Uh, one of the other things uh, that we should point out was, is Taylor unfortunately got injured 
in her sixth game of the season uh, where she got kicked and she ended up breaking her foot. So she was immobile. The college accommodated us uh, and I got to met, you know, Tanisha and I think it's Tori, the head of, you know, the residential life and to get Taylor from the third floor to the first floor. Uh, so that she didn't have to maneuver stairs with a broken foot. So the main thing that I think got us at Elms was the fact that the people uh, were so great. Uh, I've never really seen such a very personable uh, aspect of the college. Hello, my name is Sister Carol Allen. I'm the Director of Campus Ministry at Elms College, and I'm also Special Assistant to the President on Mission and Charism of the Sisters of St. Joseph. So nice to have you all join us today. We're looking forward to the day that we can all reunite, be on campus, and meet each other in person. As a Sister of St. Joseph, uh, the college has always been about uniting neighbor with neighbor and neighbor with God without distinction. That's in all our programming, in all our classrooms, and it's in all our service work. We look forward to the day when we can serve our neighbor and to help them out in all things, and that is what our educational facility offers. The Office of Campus Ministry has many programs, many of which are service orientated. And um, Dorothy Day is for incoming first year students to move to campus a week early, to live on campus, and to do community service out in the surrounding area of Westfield, Holyoke, Chicopee, and Springfield. We serve the dear neighbor by being a part of what is going on directly in our communities. You get to meet people and you sometimes even get to meet the children that will benefit from your service that you offer. We have reflection evenings, we have a group activities, and all of this is on our website, um, IAMS College website under Spiritual Life and Dorothy Day Program. It's an online application. It's a first come first serve. We have about 50 students and it's all student led. So former Dorothy Day students lead that program um, for the five days or six days that you are here on campus. So we're hoping that you would be interested in joining that um, endeavor and be a part of that program. It really gives you um, a great transition to the Elms College. You get to know the shakers and movers on campus. You get to know who the people are. You get to know something about the surrounding area and get to meet many other students before your orientation to the Elms College. We're an inclusive community. While we're a Catholic institution founded by the Sisters of St. Joseph, we open our doors to people of all faiths. We have an interfaith prayer room uh, in our library. We also have a chapel in our Berkman's Hall on the third floor. We have prayer services, we have um, prayer events, and we also have uh, opportunities to join in and learn about each other's religion and share and um, understand you know, we can break down barriers and have a greater understanding and meet each other. It's our world becomes much larger and inclusive. Also, the campus ministry office offers many mission trips throughout the year. This past year, unfortunately, due to the coronavirus, uh, we were not able to do our international travel, but we did travel to El Paso, Texas and work with the immigrants and the migrants. We also went to Houston, Texas, and still did a rebuild from the Hurricane Maria from a few years ago. And we went to Puerto Rico, and we're working with earthquake, earthquake victims there. So um, we have many uh, opportunities for students, and first-year students are able to join in on any domestic uh, trip. Internationals are for juniors and seniors. We also have a Font Bon Scholar program. We have a soup and substance, agape latte. As you can see, we, we have a wide range of materials and 
people that we interact with. One of the things we pride ourselves on is to find leaders, especially out of the Dorothy Day program, and to help foster their development and to become those leaders on campus. And that's how the Dorothy Day program is led by student leaders. We would welcome you to our campus. We would be so happy if you were a part of us. And we look forward to that day when we will be able to meet each other in person. Until then, God bless and blessings on you and your family and be safe. Hi, my name is Mike Thulin. I'm the proud director of athletics at Elms College. I'm here to talk to you today about our intercollegiate program and also about our recreation and intramural program. First and foremost, I hope that this time finds you well and that you're staying safe. Uh, as a quick introduction in terms of our program, we are a Division III program at the NCAA. We belong to the New England Collegiate Conference. We also have a, an affiliate membership in the Great Northeast Athletic Conference for our swimming program. First off, let me say to our students in the crowd, Congratulations on your acceptance. What a great achievement that is. And let me assure you, the best is yet to come. The next four years will be in the best in your life so far. You will make lifelong friends, gain a great education, develop important networks that will support you and challenge you. Elms is small enough to be human in as everyone here will know who you are and will be affected in a positive way by you as much as you will affect in a positive way this college. Parents, I know you're going through a tough time right now. Um, I had two children that went to college and I know these decisions can be tough. And in these circumstances today, they're even tougher. Uh, I always kind of boil it down to this. It's investment versus expense. Uh, are you going to get the kind of return on your investment with regards to your student's experience? Let me say, Without hesitation, I've been here a year and a half. I have never seen a college community so devoted to student success than this one is. Know that the coaches here will take your students' interests at heart. They are the best, they are great role models, and they are invested in the overall development of your student. Not just wins and losses, but how they go about their experience academically, athletically, and in terms of their leadership experiences. You will not find a better place than Elms College, believe me. We have a couple of sayings around here. First and foremost, it's a great time to be a blazer. We are moving in a very positive uh, direction at this institution right now. Uh, we, will, we are seeing facilities upgrades uh, in our gymnasium, uh, in our backfields that are coming up uh, very quickly. We're very excited about that. And where we also say that every day here is game day. And what that means is every day that you are a student athlete, a blazer, you are always on 24 seven, 365, that you represent the very best of this institution. And we are very, very proud of that. Remember, it's a privilege to be a student athlete and our coaches will hold you accountable to that and work with you through all your trials and tribulations and, and, and give you a great experience and what we call a student athlete experience that is second to none. In fact, I meet with Blazer student athlete leaders every other week to discuss about our journey, what should be our culture, what should be our, our ideals. And the final, the final product will be a brand new student athlete handbook. And we're all very excited about that. Because you see, when you come here, you're no longer a child, you're an adult, and you will be part of the process in terms of creating our positive culture here. And we've already got a great start. We'd love to have you with us. Let me give you some fast facts about our Blazer family. Nearly 70% of our student athletes earn at least a 3.0 grade point average or better. That's a B average or better. Our retention rate for student athletes is, a, is nearly 90%. That's an unheard of statistic. 50 student athletes were inducted into Chi Alpha Sigma this past spring. And that is a National Honor Society uh, for college student athletes. And why that's significant is, is that 50 of, of those, uh, 50 athletes represents nearly a quarter of our entire student athlete population. And recognize that juniors and above are the only ones 
that are eligible for induction into the Chi Alpha Sigma. That was an unbelievable, uh, unbelievable ceremony. 100% of our student athletes are involved with community service and mentoring. Most are involved with multiple leadership roles across campus, not just in athletics, but across campus as RAs, uh, as student leaders, student government, you name it. They are invested in this, in this uh, overall community. We are very competitive in our conference. Our teams finished in the top third in this past year. All of our conference teams made it to postseason conference play. More than half of our on-campus residents are student athletes. And that's an important figure to keep in mind. You will feel very much at home when you hit this campus because over 50% of you that live on campus will be student athletes. More than half of our RAs, of our RAs this past year were student athletes as well. We have two official student athlete leadership groups. The first one is called SAC, Student Athlete Advisory Committee. It's an NCA designated leadership group. And the other one is what, what I referred to before, our student athlete leadership team. You are involved with the decision making of this, of this uh, athletic program. You will be treated in leadership roles and you will be treated as adults. Two of our student athletes incidentally were sent to uh, the NCAA, conference, NCAA convention this past year in Anaheim, California from, as conference members. A great honor indeed. And lastly, we have accomplished alumni who stay connected with our athletics family. And if at any time we can do anything for you, please connect directly with myself or with any coach that you need to get in contact with. Please refer to that website and get to them. In closing, I hope to see all of you in the fall. Our family can never be too big, and, and we would love to have you be a part of our, our, of our forward success. So tell me about um, what do you do for fun at Elms? Um, so what we do for fun is uh, we just all get together as much as possible. Um, there's a lot of stuff to do in the area with, you know, Springfield Thunderbirds games. Uh, we'll do, you know, road trips and stuff like that. And even when we can't go anywhere, it's always just hanging around in the dorms. You know, everybody's got a TV. We'll put some games on or something or a movie and just hang out. Did you have a favorite team moment from this year? Um, my favorite team moment was we did a lip sync battle for like a team bonding, <laughs> okay. like right before this season got cut. So it was really fun to get to know the team even more and just have a fun time to just be ourselves. Okay, what was your go-to song? Um, my group did um, Umbrella. <laughs> I would have to say it was our last regular season game against Dean College. Um, going in with a really light roster due to injuries and stuff like that. So uh, I wasn't even playing in that game due to an injury, but the camaraderie that the team showed to battle through with no substitutions to win a game that pretty much put us in playoffs – it was really cool to watch and really cool to be a part of knowing that the guys pulled through like that. All right. What do you um, like best about your teammates? Um, I love that they push us every day. I mean, we all push each other every day. Um, and it's, it's not even a, just a baseball or golf thing. It's, it's a life thing too. I have plenty of guys that push me to be better, um, not only on the field, but uh, just in life in general. And they're always, always someone you can rely on. I mean, they're all really great people. So they're, they like, we support one each other, like unconditional support from them, I would have to say is the best qualities. For me, I feel like I'm in a different type of family. Like it's a family island. Like everyone who's an athlete, they all know we're athletes. We all talk to each other. We say hi when we're passing. Like it's just a family feeling that you get that you, some people normally don't get out of college because they're not on an athletic team. It's just different. I like it. Okay. Um, how would you describe being an athlete at Elms? It's it's not overwhelming, but you just got to have great time management because we have film. We have days where we have doubles, like that will be during like Christmas break. So if you're not on top of your schoolwork and stuff, it could get out of hand. But um, being a student athlete is always good. You have your teacher, they're understandable in certain situations with practice and stuff. So you always can have time to talk to your teachers and they'll understand any situation. So it's good being a student athlete. You know, I just think that the main thing is time management and you'll be okay. How would you describe being a, an athlete is at Elms? Um, 
I would describe being an athlete at Elms as a great opportunity and I cherish it. All these memories um, in the pool, on the field, in the gym, like not just in the pool for swimming or on the field for field hockey, like outside of it also like using the gym and just making all those memories and all those friends is really an amazing opportunity that you get to go to college, focus on your academics, but then also get to play a sport and work hard at that and to also achieve those goals that you have for whether academics or sports, which I feel very fortunate that I am able to do both. Okay. I hope that hearing from our folks on campus gave you a better understanding of what it truly means to be an Elms Blazer. Although this is the end of our virtual Accepted Students Day, I invite you to discover more on our website and find out why Elms could be the perfect fit for you. We'd also love for you to connect with our faculty members, and I invite you to join us for our virtual office hour. And if you're ready to be an Elms Blazer, please submit your deposit today. We can't wait to see you this fall.